her. Then you gotta tell your mother. An appointment, if you know what I mean. Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody sing that shit. <laughs> Y'all, your girl Tay Pancakes aka Taylor Zimus aka Tay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, as you guys saw from the aesthetic, I know y'all said y'all tired of me saying that, but y'all saw the aesthetic intro. I am going to show y'all what my routine is to have me smell the best. I wear these scents and I layer these scents. Everybody's like, what you wearing, girl? What you wearing, girl? I have a few scent combinations. I have my top two favorite ones, but I'm gonna do the one. I'm gonna just do one of them today, and maybe I'll do another one next time. So, would y'all saw my water? I know most people usually drink tea to relax in the tub. Or no, it's hot in the bathtub, so baby, I need something cool. So, this is some cool water with chia seeds and lemon. I love me some lemon water, baby. And then put cream on the lips. Yeah, let's get this started. I'm gonna do everything from shaving, wash, scrub, me time. Or in this case, us time. First things first, I'm quite annoyed at this dripping. Like, it don't usually drip like that. And of course, put on the top because you wasn't about to see me nudie nude. Most of the time, I would spend this portion of my bath like relaxing and such. All right, y'all. Y'all see all the stuff. The background changed a little bit because I had to take and I got a little bubbles on me because I had to take in a little thumbnail picture. Most people usually put like a voiceover over this, but that's not what you're going to do, baby. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna talk to y'all. I actually already took a shower not too long ago, but it doesn't hurt to go and get a bath. In. Um, I took a shower maybe a few hours ago. So when I did some running around, so I thought a bath wouldn't hurt. And I didn't exfoliate today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my body some exfoliating. I need to shave. Oh wait, I can't get my butt in here because I don't have one pants. Referring to my last video, if you haven't seen my last video, my transformation, go ahead and watch that. But my last video, um, I had some comments or some people DM to me or reach out to me talking about the whole makeup comment but basically something along the lines of when I was motivating y'all to get pretty and put in effort in yourself I personally mentioned makeup that does not mean that you're like today for example I don't got on makeup but I got pretty I put on some earrings y'all didn't see what I had on but I just put on earrings and a cute outfit and that's pretty too what I just meant by putting effort in yourself is I know for me personally and if this don't apply to you baby this don't apply to you what I'm saying is it's for me personally I know for 2020 and 2021, I have not been putting in the effort to look cute. If I'm going to the grocery store, a bitch is putting on sweat and a shirt, and it's not a cute matching little satin Eva, and my face looking a mess, and my hair is up in a wrap. Come on now. And I'm saying that it just feels good sometimes, A, to get yourself in a routine, which I've been trying to do. I feel so good, y'all. Part of my routine is getting cute, whether that's just throwing on some earrings and choosing jeans over sweats, or a matching sweatsuit over looking bummy, or beating my face, or whatever it is to you to look pretty is what I meant. I was not trying to put women down for not wearing makeup. I don't wear makeup. How I like to be part of the Take Pancakes fam. Cause baby, around here, this face is typically bare. Honestly, when I shave my legs, I typically use conditioner, but baby, I'm out of conditioner, so I don't know what I'm gonna use. But these legs, these legs, are atrocious. Hold on, let me move y'all down so y'all can kind of see what's going on. I just don't want to move y'all down too far because I don't have a pants on. I lost the razor. And I don't have no specific conditioner. I just use conditioner. I mean, I could use oil, but I don't like oiling myself before. Use some oil to shave my ass. So I got Johnson & Johnson oil. Put that on my legs because these babies need to be shaved. And we are gonna shave. Um, This is usually the longest part of 
my routine because, well, my legs are long. But I will say, for some reason, as I've gotten older, the process has gotten much faster. Why am I shaving first? You know what? I got in the habit of shaving first. Because honestly, I thought of it to be specific on what you had to do first. But you know, I always shave first. Because back in my scandalous days, when it used to be a, an appointment, if you know what I mean, I used to shave first because it was the longest thing that used to take to get done. So I'll be like, okay, I gotta get this out of the way so that way when it's time to oh I put no oil on this puff. I'm like, why is this so crunchy? Oh girl, I'm gonna have a cut. I'm gonna have a cut. So basically, I used to be like, okay, let me get the shaving out of the way. And when I mean the shaving, I mean the shaving. Like, I mean the, sh the shaving and the shaving. Yeah, I used to do that first to get it out the way so I could take my time doing it, you know? Because nine six out of 10, I was always rushing and yeah. So, and you know, you do the SSS when you have an appointment with somebody. It's the shit, the shower, and the shave. If you were not playing. Sorry for my, for my. Young audience. I don't got much of a young audience, I don't think. If you young, if you under 18, comment in the comment section so I can go tell your mother. But you're welcome here. We ain't, ain't got to tell your mother. I should shave my armpits, but it's quite embarrassing. Actually, I don't think they're very good. They actually have like shaving oils. All right, moving on to better things. The first thing we want to do, of course, is wash ourselves. For washing, I am using coconut coffee, scrub and wash. As far as my uh, love scrub, it is from, so basically my love scrub is from my wax ladies. It's black and women owned and a lot of their products are black and women only. So they sell these love scrubs. This stuff smells really good and all the scents that I'm using complement each other. This basically if you want to smell warm, vanilla -y. you want to smell like something that could get eight, you know what I'm saying, irresistible, a delicacy. When you watch these videos, because everybody do videos like this, when you watch these videos with people who are telling you what they do to smell good, take it with a grain of salt because everybody's body and skin and chemicals in their body is different. There are certain scents that I'll smell on other people and I'm like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. Then I put it on myself and I'm like, ooh. Or vice versa, I'll recommend a scent to somebody and they'll be like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And they'll try it on themselves and it don't work out. I'm a fast forward so when I finish doing it, I gotta wash my, my cracks and crevices and I'm not doing that with y'all. This is for my body. I have another love scrub that I use for my bikini area. So, and this love scrub is also good if you get ingrowns and stuff. Use it down there. Head it. The next thing that I do, the next thing that's in my routine is I like to do a scrub. Um, this brown sugar scrub, I saw a lot of people recommend it on um, TikTok. And I'm not gonna say TikTok anymore. Please, everybody in the comment, comment, Taylor, stop saying TikTok. Every time y'all hear me say TikTok, TikTok, just be like, girl, shut up. Yeah, so I see a lot of girls use this basically. And it's the brown sugar um, body scrub. I don't like the smell of it. It's natural. It smells like brown sugar, but not like a brown sugar scent or something. Just straight brown sugar. This is a personal oil. And I just put a scented body oil in here to kind of make it like a warm scent. I put it in here and I kind of just make it a little more oily. But before it don't really have a, it don't really have a scent, I should say. Then we gonna exfoliate. If you use it in the shower, it has a brown tinge to it. I would say it stains your shower. The oil from it, the oil is colored. It kind of, the oil kind of simmers on the bottom of the shower for a while unless you go in and clean it. That's basically what I mean. It's gonna be a little brown oil. And make sure you get the feet. I'm gonna tell you something. I have dry heels. I don't know if it's a tall person thing, but every tall person I know got dry heels too. And no matter what I do, I have yet to find something that helps my heels. It, when I do scrub my heels, it's so temporary. Like, it's like, oh my feet are so soft finally. And then a day or two later, crunchy. I exfoliate my feet every day. And, and any nasty mother freakers that don't wash your, your, your lower half of your body, because I know people on the internet are talking about, I don't wash my legs because the water runs down and hits it. Hmm? I beg your pardon. Yeah, that ain't that gonna fly with me. So I'm actually gonna take a dunk to get the oil off. See y'all in a second. It look like geeky on my walls. And look, I be sweating in the bed. I didn't get the front off. Let me go back down. When the water just moved, it reminded me when I was a kid and I used to make waves in the water. And then my mother would come in there and the water would be everywhere. And I would be like, I don't know what happened. I don't have like a 50 step routine in the shower. I'm gonna let you know that. Cause I be seeing girls like, yeah, I use this scrub, then I use that scrub, then I use this scrub, then I use that scrub. And it's like, girl, I either use this soap, 
some Dove. I just did this so y'all y'all saw it under my sink when I was cleaning. It's, it's soap scrub oil. If I use my oil in the shower, sometimes I use my oil in the shower. Yeah, this is it for the bathtub. Here we are, back and bottom. Okay, so for the next step, I usually go in with some oil and sometimes I do oil first, sometimes I forget, sometimes I do oil, lotion, oil, sometimes I do oil, lotion, sometimes I do lotion, oil. They say doing oil as soon as you get out of the tub or the shower is good just because it locks in the water moisture or whatever. So this is Johnson and Johnson cocoa butter gel. It's bomb. Um, and it lasts pretty long, I think, I would say. It's really thick, so you don't need a lot, but it's not. Leave you feeling greasy, I guess is the good word to use. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some lotion. For lotion, I'm gonna use the warm vanilla sugar. It is a Bath and Body Works classic, baby. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. This warm vanilla is so bomb. Yeah, I've been using it for I don't know how long. I feel like you can't go wrong with vanilla. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Warm scents are just so, they feel like home to me, you know? I'm a warm scent type of hot. I'm gonna be a bunny bun. Let me put this back. I gotta put stuff back as I go. Y'all know I'm trying to create better habits. If you don't use men's deodorant, let me tell you something. Old Spice Oasis. I use men's deodorant because I sweat profusely, honey, and the women's deodorant don't always do it. This smells, it don't smell manly. It smells like, Vanilla oasis with vanilla notes, but the problem with this is though I will say I usually order it online because I usually the only places I get it I can never find it in Walmart. I'll get it in Target sometimes depending on the Target and Walgreens It just be too expensive. Yeah, for some reason it's hard to find like, I don't know why. So far so sweet smelling now that we got that before I like perfume up and stuff What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my face. I like to be flippy floppy with skincare routines because once I get one breakout, I'll be like, oh, it's time to switch it up. But I'm gonna tell y'all something that has always worked for me. Fight me if you want. Dove bar soap on the face and a moisturizer, that's it. That's it. Some people may need the 50 loving things on their face. And listen, for me, honey, this right here, unscented plain bar soap to the face, no problem. I usually wash with warm water, rinse with cold, so. This works for me. Somebody commented on my face and I'm like, honey, my skin is clear from this bar soap. Here's some of the extra stuff I use, I'm gonna show y'all cause I have this one little dark spot right here. I had a little pimple right here. It was big and then it started getting small but when it was gone, it left a, a little tiny scar and I finally cleared my skin of all scars so I'm not playing and wash my face. And I wash my face once a day. I don't do twice. Some people need twice. I have a combination of, I have combination skin. My skin is oily and dry. I got a little pimple on my forehead. I won't, like in the morning, I'll like wipe, wipe my face with like, mince, what is it, menstrual water? Yeah, menstrual water. And that's it. Can't wash my face too much because when I got in the habit of washing my face twice a day, my face was getting really, really dry in like my dry zones. And I rinse my face with really, really cold water. I'm telling y'all the habit of rubbing my face I think that's how too. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be more gentle with my face. I've gotten out the habit of rubbing my face. When I wash it, I try to kind of pat it dry. Shout out to this towel for staying up for a bitch that got, don't got no tips. Yeah, and this is my face after. Here's one thing that I will use sometimes. Depends on how I'm feeling. I have two fade creams. This one is the bomb, I know that. And this one is okay for me. It's right here, baby. I swear, if you have like a dark spot, you start seeing this joint go away after the first time you use it, like the first night. I'll put a little bit right there. You also put it all over your face, but that's the only dark spot I have right now. This is at the hair store. So it is Palmer Skin Success. It got me together. I usually let it sit for a little bit. But yeah, I have a very simple routine. This bad boy, I know y'all saw it in one video. This pink sugar right here, smells so good. So at night, I'll use this. I like smelling good while I go to bed. And I use this during the day too. This is really strong. You get off Amazon, it smells, and you can get these little roller bars, like the little roller ones. And it's called Pink Sugar in the hair store too. You know when you go in the hair store, you probably pass the oil, the body oil out. Don't skip it, baby. Go over there, because them body oils last. So I knew that those body oils are typically mass manufactured. So I was like, let me go on Amazon and see if I can get a Bible. Sure did. And sometimes I'll layer this. You wanna know a hack too? If you put a little Vaseline on the parts where you put perfume, it'll last longer. A little pink sugar oil will actually have you smelling good. This is a good all day smell good scent. It's real sweet. My other go-to, I love this Miss Dior. Smells 
so freaking good it's a mixture of warm and fruity and this is very strong it smells so good this is the dupe to and this is the dupe to love the, the love killian perfume if you want the actual perfumes it's love killing i'm about to actual perfumes um after i done these cloud by ariana grande is also sometimes good when i use my um sweet scent so those are like my sweet scents and stuff i'm not gonna put on my perfume with this because it's it's strong so i don't need nothing to put on top of it if i do layer like i'll layer like a body spray on top sometimes i'll do um the sol de janeiro i don't have that right here right now but i'll link it in the description this is good for like a really subtle like when i say subtle i mean like it's very soft if i could this is gonna sound inappropriate i was gonna say if i could eat me but i wasn't saying like in a freaky way of saying it like a nom 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 cupcake way you know but yeah i usually put the oil here 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 and thigh sides, like in between thighs. Those are good sweet spots for me. And sometimes I do it here and here. My boyfriend said it smells really good. And bitch, I went to the dog park one time and my dog park is pretty big. And the one woman in my building, she was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. I was like, girl, it's pink sugar. The most complimented things for my sense is this, definitely this. Yeah, the ones I showed y'all, basically. Okay, so the last things I want to recommend to y'all, if you get ingrown to bed like I do, um, the fur oil, this fur oil is really, really bomb. It's a, it's pricey now, bear with me. But it lasts so long. Like, it's worth the investment because what I do is I exfoliate down here. Um, every day, my wax lady told me to, and she said to use a little bit of fur oil down there every day, and it has really helped. But also, I found this one on my own, and this is also, this one's not expensive, but it's always like sold out. So this is Bermuda oil, and a Bermuda oil is good for like, like if you have like razor bumps, or like you have scars, from your ingrowns, that helps. It also helps ingrowns too, so it's a toss of a coin, which one I use, sometimes I mix them up a little bit and then get cootie coo. Yeah, that's pretty much it for what I be doing. I'm telling y'all, go put some chia seeds and some lemon and some water. Make it that. I love the consistency of the chia seeds going down, that's weird, but. And honestly, this stuff is a nice little combination for, um, this is just, this is really my nighty. Like, every time I be wearing this from my, like, I remember I put this on uh, when I was my friend. She was like, girl, what you trying to do? I was like, girl, go to sleep. Like, this is really comfortable. I got this from Walmart, and it's like a little... It's just a little nighty shirt, but it look a little, it's just the, the print that make it look a little, you know, frisky. A really good scent combination. Um, I would suggest these scent combinations for, excuse me. This pink sugar is really good for if somebody's gonna be close to you too. It's not too strong, so if you know what I mean. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little self care, make yourself smell delicious. Add this to your feel good. Um, my wash routines are so relaxing like if you don't if you rush your showers stop doing it like stop doing it i'm not saying rush your showers like you dirty wash, rush your showers but i mean you rush your showers like you're not really enjoying it you know i was just taking a bath i wasn't taking a shower but y'all you know what i mean you're not really enjoying it like i appreciate every step like a shower is just clear just to clear your head like get in there you really scrub yourself down with the wash get your body scrub or whatever you're using and just really bask in the steam you get the oil and sometimes the oil in the shower with the steam that's always good like and really enjoying the moisturizing your body and the steps and all of that and especially my favorite part is picking out my scents like i love that like do i want to smell fruity today do i want to smell extra extra warm and cupcakey do i want to smell like vanilla ice cream pro tip another this all my videos now is going to have a little motivation motivation for today's video is supposed to be for you to get up out of bed or get up out your seat go in the shower and enjoy a shower throw some good music on imagine you at a concert i don't know and just let yourself get good if you don't have a perfume collection get you perfumes like or body sprays you know i'm not gonna judge people because perfumes are can be expensive or honestly get dupes there's so many dupes like listen i'm not the type of girl to judge nobody and say oh my gosh you got on fake this this is that other get dupes like especially if you're not sure about something and they don't have like a small enough cheap sample size or you don't got nobody that has a smell of it or you can't get to a mall to test it or whatever it is get a dupe 20 dollars like 
and they smell just like them and they last long depending on the company that you use and girl just get a dupe some of the dupes don't last as long just carry it with you honey like it's gonna be stronger than a body spray but yeah invest in some perfumes like just invest in yourself ladies that's my message for today. Invest in your self care. My last message was invest in looking bomb for yourself. And this is all for yourself, sweetie. I know I made some comments about smelling good for your partner. Do it for yourself first. Make sure you're doing it for yourself and then doing it for somebody else will feel like a plus. But yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.